Good morning. It's 60 degrees out today and it feels real good. I really, really wish it would dry up. It's still mushy out, still wet out, but I've got 1,200 tons of turkey litter that I need to get spread sometime between now and planting season. And the weather's just not letting that happen. Now, at least it's warmed up today. The sun's starting to poke out, but there's an 80, 90% chance of rain the next three days. So not looking like it's gonna happen anytime soon. But this guy's probably like you guys. He could care less, except he could care less as long as he's got grain, hay, and a little bit of water. Yeah, look away, bud, look away. This guy's actually the environmentally friendly model. He doesn't burp or fart. Grain prices just keep going down, so I went ahead and I sold the rest of my corn. I'm done selling all my soybeans. I got rid of all of them. So I sold the rest of my corn, got 402 out of it, it's not great, but it's over four bucks. Um, and basically I just want to get rid of it just so 2019 is behind me and uh, on to 2020 we go. I've only got about 5,000 bushel left. It's in a small bin, so that shouldn't take long to haul off. Um, should have that done within the next couple days. So I'm gonna finish hauling probably tomorrow, I'm hoping, and uh, then I'll be done with this truck. I'll be able to clean it up, put it away for the year, or at least until fall, and then get on to some other jobs. Uh, the planter needs rebuilt. The sprayer needs some work done. I'm going to put new sweeps on some of the, well, on the finishing tool. Might do a little bit of work to the disc. Um, just a lot of odd and end stuff to get ready before spring, but it's all time consuming and it all needs done. As warm and as wet as it has been this winter, things are still really starting to green up. Even the ground that's been worked this fall, it's getting really green. So come spring, if it's not an early spring, if it doesn't dry up early, I think the weeds are gonna be a major issue because it may be, even be too wet to drive across things with a sprayer, because it definitely is right now. I mean, you'd get across it, but you'd be making tracks the whole way. Loading. Should be about five loads in this bin. The problem with this bin is it does not have a ladder on the inside to climb down to scoop the door open to put a sweep in. So I think what I'm gonna do is just back the tractor up a little bit. Once I pour this bin and it quits coming out the middle hole, I'll just put the auger right here, open the slide on the door and just get the door down that way so I can get the door open to sweep in. It's not completely dead today, so Shows the corn price came up a little bit. The nice warm weather was short lived. It's already cloudy and it's cooled off 20 degrees in the last half hour. It's gonna rain the next three days and then there's a chance of snow after that. So it was short lived. It was just teasing us for spring. Got some brand new rubbers on this thing though today. That was only three grand. Expensive little trip to town. Almost cost as much as the load of corn that went to the elevator. Well, the nice weather didn't stay. It's time to put this thing back in the shed. Down to one last load, and I am done. I don't have the sweep in yet, but it's crappy, it's cold. Quite frankly, I just don't feel like doing it today. So, probably do that this weekend. It's supposed to get a little bit nicer. So I'll get that, uh, get that sweep put in and be done for the weekend. Sweep it again. I have my doubts that the rest of this is gonna fit on the truck. I was kinda hoping it would, but I guess I shouldn't complain about having extra corn, so. I guess I'll go back to the elevator with a couple hundred bushel in the truck probably, but. To make, a, to make a trip with no more corn than that in there. Well, it was close, but no cigar. Not gonna fit. I guess that's a good problem. That'll pay for me to go out to eat 
few times, I guess, throughout the year. The extra corn, right? Well, the 9330's back. I'm done hauling corn. So it's time to get everything on this side of the shed out and into the shop to service it. Then I can put the semi back down this side of the shed, start making room to get stuff ready for spring. I am gonna pimp that tractor out a little bit. I'm gonna rip every light off of it and put LEDs on it. And then uh, it needs a nice coat of wax and a new radio and speakers in it. Other than that, it's ready to go. Oil's already been changed, it's been serviced, but still wanna look it over before spring. Grease the pins, just little stuff. Make sure it's 110% ready to go. Finally done with the semi. It's filthy dirty, but I'll wash it one of these days when it's warm, when I wash everything before spring, I suppose. Get this one out of the way, get the 9330 out of the way. I hook this to the sprayer to move it. And put the semi where these two are setting. Turn the fuel screw, put some weights on it. It'll pull it, right? Be scratching and crawling. Might pull it. Really, really doubt it, but it might. Would you look at that shiny, shiny new fuel pump? Brand new injectors, brand new fuel pump. Turned it up a little bit. This thing's got some horsepower now. Cab's awful dirty though. I need to clean it up. See if this thing will fire up or not. Maybe. Maybe. Well, you're getting a cold start. Well, it's trying to start. There we go, now she's started. There we go. Took it a minute. Got a little smoky in here. This thing's been sitting in the cold for about a week though, so. Yeah, let it warm up a little bit before I take off. It's like a farmer's version of hot dogs in a building. Like Got this thing in here tight. Wiggle it out and hook on the sprayer. Getting this thing out really makes me ready for spring. I don't think I'm going to be doing any tillage anytime soon. Still looks good. Needs wax, but shines up pretty good still. Well, can't find a hitch pin. Go figure. It's going to steal one off the wagon, but, well, you put a safety chain. I can't steal one off the wagon. It's really a shame that this tractor doesn't have a cab on it because it's absolutely what I would spray with if it did. I mean, I guess I still could, but it'd be a little less than ideal. I don't know. I might spray with it. Well, that shed's been unshuffled and reshuffled again. I'll be able to hook the land all on that, 7140 on that, turn it around. Both of them will fit in here. The disc will stick out, but oh well, it's not a big deal. But yeah, that's where stuff will sit this spring. That'll be in the shop. Well, actually, that sprayer will be on a different tractor, but it'll be in the shop. The planter will be in the shop. That'll be in the shop on a planter, probably. Yeah, the shuffling begins. And it's way too muddy to even think about doing anything. De-junking. There's like 
half a New Holland combine sitting in the back of this thing. It's like 10 years worth of junk out of the shop and piles all over the farm. Time to get rid of it. I hate clutter. This is actually the first of many of the loads that I would like to get off the farm. Most of it's just gonna go to the dump because it's plastic, it's wiring, it's junk, but figured I'd pick through most of the metal first and get a little bit of money out of it if I can. If it pays for my fuel to haul the rest of the junk off, I'll be happy with that. So just trying to clean some clutter up, get the shop cleaned out especially. I'd like to uh, figure out a cheap way to reflect light off the walls. It's got sprayed in insulation and years of dirt and grime on it. So I'd like to figure out a way that I could just make light reflect a little bit better. I thought about using uh, plastic bale wrap and just stapling it to the uh, posts on the walls, but I don't know how well that'd hold up, but it would be cheap. Like I said, it's already well insulated. It, ideally, I'd put metal up, but it's an old shop and I hate to put brand new metal up in an old shop. So, I don't know. If anybody's got any good ideas about how to make the shop brighter inside, let me know. I've already got LED lights in it and everything. It's just the walls are dim and dull and it just it's dark in there all the time. Passing the junkyard. Actually, I'd really like to have one of those haggies that's sitting back there, but no, I'm not starting a color war. I don't have anything against John Deere. They've got pretty good service around here. As a matter of fact, I just bought something brand new from that dealership, but that's something for another video. Now that's so much easier than dumping by hand. Just press the button and go. Yeah, I got $63 out of that. So it barely paid for the gas, but I guess the junk's out of the way now. That's all that matters. It's out of my way and it didn't cost me to haul it off. So good enough for me. Feeding hay. Got some happy cows. Well, it's five o'clock somewhere, and right now that somewhere's here. So I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna edit this video. It's been like two weeks worth of just random crap. So I'm throwing it in the video. Uh, headed to the farm machinery show this Friday. And if anybody sees me there, say hey or don't. I don't care. But hold up. Before I go, one more thing. I have been doing some shopping. I have something to show you guys. The 7140 and the 9330 are getting new radios, new speakers, and a whole bunch of lights. So yeah. Other than that, I've just got gun parts, but I am going to be stopping by the uh, shoot booth down at the farm machinery show and picking up a bunch of planter parts and other stuff that I need for this spring. And it never fails while I'm down at the farm machinery show that I end up buying more stuff that I probably don't need, but hey, it's neat, so I buy it anyways. So looking forward to that this Friday. Hopefully I don't spend too much money down there, but I do definitely need to stop at the shoot booth and a couple other places and pick up some parts for this spring. Um, I'm gonna totally rebuild the Kinsey planter the planner is not actually my planner. It's the guy I farm with. So we had talked about trading that off where basically we'd use his as trade in and I'd pay the difference. Um, but I think for now, we're just gonna rebuild that one. And then I'm gonna buy a corn planter probably next year and just run this one in beans. It's only a six row planter with split, split rows on it. Um, does a great job. It's just a little bit slower, but I think, you know, either Trading that in for a 1223 would be ideal because you wouldn't have two tractors on two planters and just have two tractors tied up. But regardless, whether we get just a separate corn planter or run corn and soybeans with the same planter, just a split row, I don't know. We'll see. But probably going to make a change there within the next couple of years. But with grain prices where they're at this year, I just, I'd rather wait and not borrow money and just buy my next planter or buy my first planter, I guess. Um, just outright so rather than borrowing money I'm just gonna hold off make do with what I got right now and uh, go from there so don't forget to like uh, comment subscribe um, 
throw your uh, questions, concerns, comments, harsh criticism, whatever you want, comment it down below. Um, and I might see you guys at the Farm Machinery fr Show Friday. Um, other than that, you guys have a good day.